is no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Hello! Hey there, fuckers. You know what that horrible creature means. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know a what it means. It's a Fernandez. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be awful. We can get some of that liquor. <laughs> <laughs> get some of that isopod liquor off of this shit. We got, look at this. We got camera angles. This is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, at yeah this. You guys didn't know. You got, we're like a TV station in here. Yeah. What? 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 We, oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 this is great television. This is, hey man, we're playing with cameras. Mm -hmm. Ugh, fuck. Um, Sam says here immediately, thanks to Henry, I'm getting more into Gordon Lightfoot. Fuck uh, yeah, man. Gordon, I love the foot, man. Nah. I love the fucking foot, man. R.I.P., man. He shot himself in the head. <laughs> you no, know he died of Dr. Crosses recently. That's natural. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they bullets are natural. They're made from zinc. Yeah, God yeah. wouldn't have put bullets in the ground if you didn't want him to use them. I'm not saying that I love you. <laughs> I love it. I love him. I'm not saying that I care. Gordon Lightfoot is if the you love me. If you listen to it enough, you begin to understand <laughs> that that's, it's all about the burden of man, being an actual cishet man, and that burden that lies within. Because you know what we don't get to do, no matter what anybody says? Serve cunt. <laughs> I've just learned that. You just learned it and you taught it to your mother. And what is it exactly? Okay, so Dane says, did y'all see the target at a recall a dog toy that said Mary Hammus? Oh, yeah. No, Mary Ham. Yeah, yeah. Why? Mar oh, because of, uh, because it says. Mary it's, Hamas. It's too close to Hamas. <laughs> but it's a fucking anti-ham pro propaganda. I think fucking Hamas, you know, they, they wish they had ham. I am These deeply, motherfuckers. They ain't got no ham That shows Hamas. how yeah. plugged in I'm in. Is I, it, yeah, yeah. That shows how much news I'm reading. Isn't ham the opposite of Hamas? It couldn't be more opposite. Well, I thought, which, what is what? We don't, we don't. We don't need to. We don't need to get into this. We have ham. I know that much. No, there's no ham on either side. No one can eat ham. That's the problem. Yeah, obviously. Start shipping in ham. Talk to Biden. That's it. Billions of dollars of ham. Sending them over to the strip. Let me see how these. Everyone's gonna have a smile on their goddamn face. Let me be clear, okay? I might be. Who's what? Here you might. You're sending him down there. Come on. Let's think about this. You're sending him down there. All right, we're getting it done. Everybody, you know, people there. It's Virginia Ham. I knew a woman named Virginia. She was my teacher. <laughs> See, I'm getting better at it. Yeah. You are. Actually, that's the best Biden impersonation I've ever seen in my fucking life. Whoa. That's not real. <laughs> it's um, the only Biden impersonation I've ever seen in my life. So maybe be clear. <laughs> be clear. <laughs> we all made mistakes, right? Yeah, I sucked on my wife's fingers. I suck on her hair. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> you don't do that. I clear. I read the name. Um, I uh, uh, so servant cunt. I actually don't know what it is. You don't? I think it means being mean. Yeah, oh. that, I mean that's what I would expect. Like Cruella de Vil, but I know being serving. mean. Mean means cool now. Mm -hmm. It's like Cruella de Vil's the guy cool now. Oh, yeah. is it like right? bad in the eighties? No, yeah, he's not bad. like. He, oh, he's mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sir, she, but then because I then I realized I was saying it in front of my mother a lot because my mother was in the car. Right. And I did mm -hmm. something about like I think I said something along the lines of like Hillary Clinton serving cunt, and then um, apparently that's like not like she's never that. Right? Because she's fucking all closed up. But she serves. <laughs> she serves some C. God, but then I started realizing, oh, I have to say serve and C. Yeah. But yeah. I think serve and C means you're going like, whoa, yeah, you don't, you can't have none of this. Yeah, because it could be cock, too. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Either I think either applies. I could ser if I'm serving cock to you right now, mm -hmm. but Henry, I'm gonna serve you some fucking cock, bro. Sir, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're gonna be threatened <laughs> if, if you're just serving cunt. You work at Macaroni Grill. I think that that's what I thought. <laughs> he was just being like, "Oh, I saw some people who served me some cunt. It was at the DMV. It was a horrible afternoon." <laughs> yeah. But apparently, it's good. Oh, it right? is. It's a good thing. It is. Has anyone known? Does anyone do chat? Jack? Honestly, can we vote? Please let us know how you is there feel a vote here? serving yeah. Can someone tell me what it is? Is there a vote structure where they can just tell me what this means? 
Uh, is it okay? Say, That's let's just a ask general on chat. the poll. We're gonna say, is it mean? Is it aggressive or is it nice? Is it good or bad? Aggressive or nice? Ag aggressive. Okay, or nice? server to serve similar, similar to serving realness. Realness. Oh, okay. Uh, serving. Oh, it bold takes serving to the point. Realness uh, over the, the next. Tray. It's, it's pussy power. Oh, okay. All right. So it's just being mean. Yeah. Yeah. But it's be being fashionable. Impolite. Ah. It's cool now, I guess. I guess being impolite is a fashion. Can we start saying cunt in America? I don't know. I am. Yeah. Cunt. <laughs> I still feel weird about it. <laughs> Why do you know? <laughs> I feel that, again, the British do it all the time. They all do. The time. do. But yeah. I don't want to be them, you know? No, I know. You know what? You're right. Except Australian, I do want to be. And they, oh. they sell it even, they say it even more. Because yeah. I'm so, like, British in my ancestry, does that mean that I get a, a C pass? Oh, I you get you C get pass. get a C pass, yeah. Oh, yeah, you get C pass, yeah. yeah you get, you Just don't say it to your wife. No, no, no. no, no, no. Cunt! There you go. Hey! Oh, oh, you cunts. Oh, it feels weird. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. right. It feels right. And I don't like it. You say it, I can say it once every 30 minutes. Yeah, and if yeah I say honestly, more we've that, already went past that. Way past So that. we'll save it the second half. Okay. We get back in the second half. Let's recheck in. Let's see how we feel then. Sure. Because, again, we got it out of our system. I think it was because I did want to get it out of my system, and then I said it in front of my mother. Okay. Yeah. And then she just was like, it was very jarring for her. Yeah. Because she hadn't really heard what that. What was her word. response? I, she went, well, she doesn't hear. She doesn't listen. Mm -hmm. She's all in her own head, just like, you know, and she's at the top of a parade, waving at everyone. <laughs> just everyone's going, thank you, Linda. We love you, Linda. You know what I mean? So she didn't actually hear me say that. I think she mostly just, she's just used to, mostly used to people screaming that to her on the highway. I understand. So let's um, shoot one of these videos on the pipe. Let's see what the Fernando has to offer us this Here week. We go. Oh no, I heard a sound outside. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> oh no. What? I think it's this a Roomba. Way above your brief. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Hell yeah, man. Love. This guy wants a raise. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> man, my Roomba was not good. Yeah, neither was mine. I, I sold mine. You sold it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a bum one, man. How yeah. Do you, how do you sell a Roomba? On uh, fucking, I think, where did we sell it? Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. yeah. I would have never think to sell a used It's expensive. Vacuum. They're very expensive. They're very how much expensive. is a Roomba? For like 300 bucks. Yeah, it was expensive. I needed, right to, I needed a little return on that. I couldn't, like, return it, return it, but I it was too much money for me to just throw out. I just let mine go. Yeah. yeah, I said I put him the on the street. Yeah, and I said go, you just go out there, and it just did what that did, where it just ran and ran and ran, and then I think I actually saw it, January sixth, <laughs> twenty twenty one, and slowly pulled up to the White House. And it had a Q spray painted on top of it. Mm. This is Washington. Leo sucks. says yeah. Roomba serving cunt. <laughs> That's important. That's what that Roomba was doing. I mean, this is the thing. I sort of feel like maybe it's because I feel like they're just making shit up now. They're saying things that don't mean anything. When they said no cap, that's not even connected to words. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's not even connected to what is the beginning of no cap. It's got two words in it. But it said no cap. This is a cap. Mm -hmm. So I guess not wearing a hat. I think If I were to guess no cap means uh, there is no limit to what I am capable of. Ooh. No cap. There's no cap No, it means it. I'm not lying. Oh. No I, like, uh, I mean, you know, this is you know probably nauseating for lots of people at home, but I, I dead ass. That's my favorite. It means nothing. Dead ass, I love. Yeah, I, I like dead it's ass. also me. I had right, right. the use yeah. of the phrase "no cap" is meant to convey authenticity and truth. Ah. The phrase originated in reference to, de de to decorative gold teeth, ah. which can be divided. I feel like the whitest. I feel like the most racist <laughs> whitest man, which can be no, divided into the two distinct varieties. Permanent gold teeth, a.k.a. perms, or caps, a.k.a. pullouts. Ah, oh, Whereas okay. caps can be pulled out with ease, perms, as the name suggests, are permanent. Ah. They cannot be taken out for a job interview or <laughs> a court date. <laughs> <laughs> they are an honest and lasting expression of the owner's realness. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Dead oh. ass. Yeah. No, dead yeah. ass. Well, I knew. I, I, uh, <laughs> See, oh yeah. Leo also says Roombas map your room and sell the data to stores that advertise furniture and stuff that will fit in your space. That's not even a bad idea. 
Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, Emma says, my high school students would absolutely annihilate Henry. Yeah, of course, they have nothing to lose. Yeah. They're full of hormones. They've freshly worked out. I'm a 39-year-old man who's looking to go to sleep. There's nothing scarier than a pack of 16-year-old boys. Oh, I hate, I hate my them. God. There's nothing worse. You know, God bless you for your work that you do with those children. You really, and seriously. I'm really happy that they don't kill you every That's day. That's why I always go up to them and I educationally rap. Yeah, that's, that's I nice. always, whenever I appreciate I see that. Do you go to the the McGruff Crime Dog School of Rap? What do you mean? Nothing but cracking cocaine. It's oh, a bad yeah. thing to do. That's just yeah. You ever, have you never <laughs> heard of the album? No, it has actually, a great no. album. Yeah, yeah. No. inhalants. They are bad to do with <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got to get involved. You get involved oh wait, though. all right. Look up Giat next. Hey, Giat. Look up Giat. Yeah. Is that what that means? Is that All what right. you mean? Yeah. I like a uh, That's one of my favorites. But that's a Russian here. one. Yeah, okay. this might be a little uncle-y, but you not want us to. You don't want us to be left behind because that's when we get radicalized. Mm. All right, that's when the far right comes for us. So you have to bring us in. You have to teach us what y'all say because some of your stuff. Because I know it's code. Mm-hmm. So what's Gaia? Sp Spoon says it's important to learn about the roots of these terms in black and gay culture instead of writing it all off as nonsensical Gen Z slang. So I appreciate you guys doing your research. Wow. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're really welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. We're really doing... <laughs> it's important. <laughs> really what we're doing, doing is very, very The good. Lord's no work cap. here. Yeah. No cap. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll find out what we just said. Is that like when you ride a horse and you want it to go real fast? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, but I think yeah. all that means being being ill yeah. with the chick. All right? Being yeah. ill is what I used to remember. Being ill is the opposite of being good, but it's cool to say things that are the opposite. Mm -hmm. I think that's a 30-year-old term, maybe 40. Ill? Next, let's look next video. Yeah, Ill communication. Yeah, license, license the ill. Even next older, fucking video. Yeah. yeah. Next video. Let's get out of this. <laughs> Robo dog and drone. What's this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You give up. Oh yeah, as soon as that robot drug shows up, you just your hands up. Oh, oh no. Oh wow. I was gonna say, what is this Dallas and it is? Uh, oh my god. Oh. Again, it's scary if it's the police. It's gonna be great when it's me. In no, the ro your consciousness dog. in the robot dog? No, I'm saying that when I have a couple. Oh, when you have so you mean like for a private are you looking for them for like a private security force? I've been saying this on side stories for years, but I really do believe this. If they have drones, we should be allowed to have the same exact drones. And they every neighborhood should be allowed to have three or four robot cop dogs that can go against their robot cop dogs. Well, you you saw should, that's what people's argument is against like AR 15 <laughs> so That's what I'm saying. If we're gonna have them, everybody gets one. That's how I feel about nukes. Right? I should yeah, be able to have one. one. Yeah, that's a great Think of, idea. But honestly, if I had one nuke. All you need is one. Right? If I had one nuke, I would change shit across this great country of ours. Just walk around with a button. Just be like, hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I haven't noticed we're 15 minutes late to our reserve time at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> what if it all goes? <laughs> what if it all goes? <laughs> you don't fuck with me. I woke up sad today. Hell yeah. Do you know Dallas is the first police force to ever kill a person with a robot? Really? How did it happen? Um, do you remember when that like uh, that dude was sniping the rally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that they sent in a they sent in a robot with a yeah. bomb strapped to it. Yeah, it was wow. cool. And they, that was cool, and they, actually. Blew, and they blew the guy up, and that's where this dog is. They're but, getting real But you know what I don't like about the dog? It does prance like Wendy. It's like yeah, it's a very prancy yeah. dog. It's like this yeah. cute little thing, That's and then it's just it just like, do. Do, 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 do. you know, like all of a sudden you're covered in. But again, it should definitely have guns for ears. Well, that would be cute. Yeah. It's very Pixar. Fernando prepared some strategies for the dogs. Oh, we, oh, Fernando prepared strategies to fight against the robot dogs. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> this. Yeah, it shows all the weak batteries points. are in its belly. Oh yeah. Okay. But you got to get past its arms first. <laughs> Don't seem like very good. Battery and CPU are located approximately <laughs> right here. The limb articulators are located at the top of the four limbs. You're not going anywhere, buddy. I would recommend 62 grain green tip <laughs> penetrators because they will be armor plated. They're coming for you, dude. We don't have access to that. Paintball will be effective in disabling the camera. Just However, paintball. It's easily reversible. If you don't have access to that, Another use a paintball. Is to paintball? Do a mix, 50 50 mix of old engine oil oil-based paint black and a good dose of sand into a balloon. 
the sand will scratch up and work, gum up the works. You're uh, fucked, the buddy. Be very difficult to remove. They're going to yeah. destroy you, dude. Yeah, they're bucket not, of water works too. They're not coming. We we're gonna lose. Yeah, by mm. the time you the, the by the time the water balloon filled with sand is going to do any sort of damage, you'll have been dead for three days. Because the human police officers will shoot you in the head. <laughs> you'll be there like with your musket. <laughs> Prayer to go. Meanwhile, like everybody shot. You know, you say you paintball first, then automatic weapon. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Wait, no, paintball, <laughs> what can then balloon. Then, if all else fails, here's the armor jacketed shells that you can use to disable these <laughs> things. Jesus Christ, Indrid! I've hung out with one of those robot dogs in a cave before. No cap. Honestly, Whoa. explain why you're not capping. Yeah, what's the cap that you are not? Yeah, why would I challenge you? Yeah, is the cap in your ass? Zoomers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can't beat us. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Back what I was saying before, though. Detroit, not Detroit, Dallas, first place to kill a person with a robot. Mm -hmm. RoboCop takes place in Detroit, filmed in Dallas. That's right. I had a friend who had his prom in the warehouse where the drugs were made in RoboCop 2. Fucking, what a lucky man. That's so fucking amazing. <laughs> Henry, Harrison, give Henry an exoskeleton and give Marcus a regular skeleton. I am putting this to you, crowd. I'm putting this to my people. I know that some of you are out there who are independent engineers. What is it going to take to get me an exoskeleton? All right? I'll, I'll be there with you. I'm going to fund it. I'm going to show up. We're gonna go into. I'm gonna come. We're gonna fit it. You're gonna die on your back, of not being able to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna suffocate oh under the weight of the top of it. Your ribs are gonna collapse in slowly. You're gonna die like the dude in Salem, slowly getting pressed to death by a rock. That's what I want. You're just trying to be Krang. This is what I want. <laughs> this is literally what I want. All right, I mean, my I'm back trying hurts. to be Bebop, so that's all good. That's yeah. the thing, man. Just like we got to take back our own streets. No mm -hmm. cap. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. No cap. Marcus gets his haircut by Shredder. Yeah, it's a bad haircut. <laughs> it's a real bad haircut, ladies Wait, and gentlemen. Did you do that yourself? No, I just it's I get it cut. And it looks good for our like lady, a day. Our lady went away. Our lady went away and it looks good for like Marcus a day. Marcus and I were getting our hair cut. <laughs> yeah, prison. Yeah. <laughs> prison. <laughs> Four haircuts. I can't. It's like, It's been years where I've been trying to get this hair worked out, but it's thin and it's weird. And I don't know what to do with it. And I keep trying different things. Can someone help him? And it never him? works. Is there anybody who can fucking help him out there? Please help me. Tell me Any, what to do with Anybody help him. Anybody what do I do with this? Is this what am I at LPOTL. I can't fucking help him. Look at me. How am I supposed to fucking help him? Yeah, but yours that yours has character. Mine, I just look like I don't know. Mine has mental character. Patient. Yeah, sorry, that's very good. Your hair has character. What is that supposed to fucking mean? It, means fucking it doesn't ugly. look good. But they're trying to say something nice that, about it. That's what they always say. <laughs> that's what they say. Being a character actor. Oh, it's because you're fat and lumpy. Yeah, 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 Henry, your face has character. Your yeah. folds have character. I. Yeah. Interesting ears. Yeah. I was never young. <laughs> I was never young and handsome. It was always like this. So Marcus suggestions. Mullet. Nah. nah. Someone saying do it in a perm. Okay. No. Man. Uh. Can we? That's a good mandate. Hairdresser mandate. Ooh. Give Marcus a perm. No. Absolutely Come on, not. Marcus, that, that have a perm. It lasts curl. so long. It lasts so Marcus, long. Marcus, let's perm your hair. No. If you came in with the full, like, I don't even know if it take. I think it's just from your spirit. I don't think your spirit would allow your hair to be perm. Mm -mm, no. Can you imagine no, him, Nor would him with like little so tight curls? About this. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> it's really a yeah, this, would fucking. This is. I've not seen you filled with so much joy in months. You have the to idea. Give this to him. Someone Photoshop this for me. <laughs> I want him to see. Someone has to see that he does this. I the did. broccoli top is really stupid. That's really dumb. You guys I'm not are gonna all. That I'm is nothing those, modern. That's nothing. one of the things that you Zoomers are going to regret. I don't yeah. know what the broccoli top is. It's, it's just that all shaved around here, and then it's just... Oh, yeah, yeah. it looks horrible. Yeah, they yeah, look like really a bad. character from, uh, like, Arthur. 
Yeah, no, it's, mm -hmm. they all look like Russian mobsters who got kicked out of their own family. <laughs> Here we go. Chair force. I'm paralyzed from the chest down, and they had robotic legs at rehab. Someone had their legs snapped in half from using one, and it's put me right off trying it out. That's fucking cool. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Oh, That's crazy, God. man. Honestly, we had a friend, our, our friend, uh, Jason Sines, because mm -hmm. he, after his accident, they were, like, he did have, like, a little exoskeleton they were working on for a while. But it, it does say, it does seem like it's hard. It's very dangerous. Because it's yeah. like a thousand pounds. Yeah. But again, we're moving to, in the right direction. Al aluminium. I want to get there. I don't get there. That's the broccoli top. Oh, haircut. this is yeah. the broccoli top. Yeah, it top. looks bad. It's bad. It's, it's real bad. bad. It's they very all popular. Stupid. Yeah, no, yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen this around. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like one of those where I, I understand everything. Everything. Uh, every one of these dudes, including that her, lady, gets looked hot. Laid, she though. looked hot. Yeah, she looks hot. Women but, can do whatever they want. Yes. Yeah, but this is like this is basically what I would look like with a perm. This please. is a this is a slight perm. Can yeah. we please fucking talk? ever no. since parents stop beating no. their children? These are the haircuts. You would look get. so cute. Yeah, honestly, it's the problem. It's called I'm not adulted enough. It's called a reach out. Somebody come and teach me something. Well, it's like I cut my hair too short and I look like twelve. Like I look like a twelve year old with a mm -hmm. tiny head. Or if I you know, if I leave it long. My hair's thin to you a chop top. top, and now it's yeah, I look like chop top because it's, now it's all like it's still thick around here. Hey man, I can't grow it long anymore. But it's, it's thin cool though. You already are. You got a wife. And you don't wear hats. Yeah. I do when I'm doing yard work. I think cowboy hat. Fez. I've tried it. I tried it before, and you guys called me cowboy Hitler. What's wrong with? I mean, <laughs> someone's got to be cowboy. <laughs> someone's got to be. No, I like someone's got to like, be it. I tried to do my hair like I, I tried to do a part. And I wore like a, a pearl snap shirt. I tried it for like a week, and then we did a roundtable episode at the end of the week, and the episode ended up being called Cowboy Hitler because you guys wouldn't stop calling me Cowboy Hitler. <laughs> well, it's just because we had to we had to destroy your your confidence. Oh man, my, we had to make you feel. My better. maintenance so many times. guy has a Hitler haircut. Now it's like I'm like, does no one else notice? That's that's past. He's, he's very tall, but that he's was very, very hipster. Very Hitler haircut, but yeah. that was very mid aughts hipster. That's kind of past that. Now it's this bussy haircut and it's the other one and then it's say no cap. Bussy? It's that when I equate oh, the, the, that the broccoli the... hair with to the word bussy. Butthole? Yes. Is that what a bussy is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a man's butthole yes. that you would use as a vagina. As a vagina. Now spooky bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, last podcast meeting. It's always crushing. Always fucking. It's so good. That's what I'm seeing. I love wow. it. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's, that's incredible. Last podcast about mid for for mid for for but no cap. That's for for for. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Marcus would look great. Spooky Bulbasaur. If he grew his hair out enough to pull his hair back into a half ponytail, the Ned Stark. What's a mm. half ponytail? Like this. Oh, where it's the ponytail on the top of the head. On the top of the head? Yeah. No, that's too Cali. Skull face shake. It's too close to a, a man bun. Yeah, yeah, that you know, no, no, we don't mean that territory. Eddie can vouch for me. I, I switched from Marcus' can. hair to the mullet and it works. You know who Skullface Jacob is? I don't like mullets, so I'm sorry, Jacob. I wow. don't know. Do you live in Davie, Florida? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think mullets are now on their way back, too, and they, they look good, good on ladies. My nephew yeah. got a mullet, and he looks great. I don't know what to do about it. I no cap. To, I wanted to yell at him, and he looks really good, yeah. and it's weird. But he, but he also says he wants to be a soldier, so I'm trying to talk him out of that. I feel like yeah. that's the issue. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, like tell him, honestly, they're going to take your mullet. Yeah, that's oh, for yeah. damn sure. You yeah. know who's taken though? You know you could be in there. Kiss Army. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Marcus should wear the white British Parliament wig. Oh, that's... I could see you in a series of wigs as well. Yeah, I have thought about wigs. Some rouge on the cheeks. Oh okay. yeah. Shave the head. Shave the head completely. <laughs> Never have real hair. Only wigs. Man, if I shaved my head, you guys would see how truly tiny my head is compared see, to the rest I don't want to see it. It's but my aunt, my body is so I have ridiculous proportions everywhere. My head is very small. My butt's very big. My hands are massive my feet are huge and my legs are too long my torso is kind of short but also like it's not it's not an attractive body it's yeah, not yeah. it's just skinny you got a wonderful ass i do thank you some people like that. <laughs> i see you get sexualized all the time so. I, I do i do but i like to think it's because um, of my personality the haircut is fine what he needs is some good hair products put them in the chat oh tell yeah. him what he's supposed to fucking use yeah, he has no. no idea what to use i have no idea what do I, pomade herbal substances is that what you use <laughs> Earl, That's the one that makes it come. Yeah. Um, all right, let's uh, let's see another video. Also, we should look up what guillot means. 
Yeah, we don't want to know what that means. Know what unless it's is. unless it's bad. Guy. G Y A A T. Giat. Buryat. Giat means goddamn. That means nothing. They said goddamn. Oh, I seen this. One. Oh, I love. That. I was gonna use this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> man, that is going to be a long night for that fucking cop, man. That is one fired ass cop. Oh, oh very much so. Oh my god. <laughs> very much oh. so. Well, because my dad used to talk about that was always the worst part was the naked guys. Because yeah. naked guys, wrestling a naked man into a car mm -hmm. is not fun. You know, no. what? if you got clothes on, I'll fucking fight a naked dude. You know, if I'm, I'm not naked too. Well, the if you're problem. naked and he's naked, you're in the shower. The problem with fighting a naked dude is that you don't realize in a fight how much grappling is involved. They're, they're and you, he's all yeah, wet. Yeah, and you don't realize how much you depend on clothing for the grappling. Yeah. Very much so. Well, Rosie says, Smash him in the face. hey, you, you were hot enough that. to be confused for a lot, lizard, Marcus. Thank you. Oh. Hey, man, he can be used up. Hi. <laughs> Look at <laughs> him. Why are you, you going to be here for a while? That's serving cock. You need hey. some company? I'm not allowed at Bucky's no more. I ain't got no home. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, product suggestions hair powder, pomade, Pantene Ultra Volume at Walmart. We got to write these down. Volumizer. These send this to Kelsey. Yeah. Send this yeah. to Kelsey. Yeah. 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 Expressing astonishment. Most honestly used when looking at a woman's ass. This is a short way of saying, God damn. So do as you say in, it like, damn, you see that as ass. As long as yeah, it is. It's literally the same thing. But do you say it like, Gia! Like, do you say it like that? Yeah! 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 Oh, that's I just how you do it. Oh, yeah. okay. You know what I say? You shouldn't that's be commenting at all. You know, but that's, Gyat is not that much different because I remember people used to say, God damn! Yeah! Like, yeah. that was a big Texas thing. God damn! Uh, <laughs> yeah! How about an old fashioned, just like, yeah, but! <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie, not pomade, no gels. Get some volumizing mousse that you apply when it's wet. Brush it out when it's wet. Then it can be charmingly messy when it's dry. Yeah, and you gotta oh. get the thickener, the oil thickeners that you put in. You you, you rub them in your hair. Like I use 10 hair minutes tonic before you go in the shower. You let it sit. I use you... more hair product now that I have less hair than I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Look at Eric and I talk about this. Eric's got a full. Like his head's just covered in gel. He's completely bald. Can too. <laughs> It is, it is shiny. It's just absolutely shiny. Shoe paste. I used to manage a group home, and I more than once had to wrestle a wiry old naked man covered in his own piss. It is not fun or easy. Yeah, piss is slippery. And there's also the there's the psychological factor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because this old man can slip and fall. No, I was just thinking the psychological factor of having to wrestle with someone who's covered in piss. I mean, yeah, it's a thing. I think that's mostly what cops just don't want to do is they don't want to get it on their hands. Yeah, you're not wearing These aren't your clothes. They're It's a uniform. And it's Take it to the cleaners. You said, but you still got to wear it for the rest of the night. Guess wear it for the rest of your shift. You're all covered piss. I think if you get covered in piss, you can be like, I'm going back to the station and I'm going to change and shower. Depends on the department. Yeah. That's true, I guess. Yeah, for the bed, bath, and beyond. Because that's what the beyond is, the police. Mm -hmm. And Heather, if you can't go take a shower at the Dallas Police Department, because it's all filled with robot short circuits. <laughs> 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 my scale, my scale to bore. Oh, and anybody who has uh, the hair suggestions, I've already forgotten everything you've said. So Send email, email. LPOTL at SideStories.com and make sure Flip to it. say... Side Stories LPOTL. Uh, side gmail. Stories, it's Side Stories LPOTL. Mm -hmm. Side Stories LPOTL at gmail.com. Let them know. Please, and put, and put in there, said <clears throat> Marcus requested this. We're going to do a no hairdresser episode. We're going to do an entire episode. We're going to do Marcus makeover. That, oh, that'd be great. That's yeah. what it is. It's Marcus okay, makeover. Okay, Mar a Marcus makeover, I'll be fine with. I think that's what we do. And then Eddie and I, st we'll bring maybe someone who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then we, we give them an option, and then we have an option. Yeah, I think, yeah, makeup. I think you should start with makeup. Yeah. Sure. I mean, male makeup is not that unheard of. No? No, it's really not. No, we bring in, let's bring in a beautician. I love Ooh. this. All right. I so we're bringing this. in a beautician. We're going to do um, a Marcus makeover mandate. I love this. <laughs> Triple M. I want to change you. From, I love this. Um, Heather, why, Henry, is that why you're always naked? Just in case someone tries to fight you inside of your home. I just, I'm, I like to be naked. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Except I won't sit on my couch or any place where it's public without underwear on. Really? Yeah, I don't do that for the sake of my guests. Yeah, I, I do not uh, extend that same courtesy to my guests. I know. I don't think 
think I. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, really... people want Goth Marcus again, but we'll wait to maybe next Halloween. Who knows? I mean, Goth Marcus is fine. I just can't do Goth Marcus every single day. I just can't do that. No, I'm what's something that's sustainable for him? It's not Makes sustainable. Makes a beautiful, I... vi vibrant part of the now, part of the here and now. I mean, honestly, I would love to every day wake up, slick my hair back, and put on the Dave Vanian makeup. I actually would love to live like that. It but would be cool. It's not practical for every day for being a member of society as a forty-year-old man. You're too busy. Yeah, you no, actually, I'm not too busy because remember uh, when I was in the Cowman, I used to do full skull paint uh, makeup before every gig, yeah. and I got to where I could do it in like two and a half minutes. So yeah, but you weren't that? caring. You weren't caring about what it actually looked like in a way. You it know looked I mean? great. But you were looking for coverage. I think you just got good at it. Yeah, I got really good at it. It look, it ended up looking fantastic. I even like, I have my favorite. Uh, gr I never used grease paint. That's the problem. You never use grease paint because that's when it gets messy. Mm -hmm. I had the nice little uh, pads that I used and the nice, uh, the nice makeup. You get the really nice stuff. And I'm done. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we did the the ten year anniversary Murderfish show. We had Marcus doing face painting for people because we wanted a carnival atmosphere. Yeah, and he was the soil child. Yeah. He had his paint, and then someone sat down. They're like, "Oh, what do I? What's the face painting? What do I get?" And then he just goes. And that's it. And yeah. there's, like, there's like two beautiful women walking around with like a horrible face paint. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> 20 years of this shit, man. Yeah. Alright, let's see another video. Let's see what we got. <laughs> what? I think it's in reverse. No. No, he's having a Ooh. He's having an experience. That's not. Oh yeah. Hey man, do enough drugs that wherever you go, you're doing parkour. It's not. This is not even that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this is not they're even that disruptive. To, they're trying to figure out how to arrest him. Yeah, yeah. They're like, what? We know that this is a crime. His free movement is annoying to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's just showing him how yeah, he's pulling out his fucking ID. Yeah, he's obviously out of drugs. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't know what to do. Yeah, they've been done. I, this is not a crime. They say, yeah, this guy's not doing anything wrong. He's just being in the city. That's mostly just what cities Was that Paris? Are. And it was a canal. It might have been Amsterdam. Uh, might have been Am Amsterdam. It didn't, Amsterdam. It didn't look nice enough to be Amsterdam, though. It looked they, a little shitty. Well, they have other spots in that country besides that Amsterdam. have canals mm. yeah yes. holland yes kyle says can marcus grow facial hair no famously no. no uh what i can grow is that you can actually see a little bit of like where it grows yeah it gets real like you can see like right here right there right there and if you'll notice there is no coverage uh but you could chop here. you could do a chop yeah. you yeah. have like the same oh, facial I can't hair do, i can't do chops because they just stop they at get a wispy point. yeah they get and really wispy it's very it's joe dirt stops. i'm still so, getting used to like the camera like where do i is that nope that one okay yeah you can see that right there yeah. no coverage here see no coverage here you have the same facial hair as the guy from twin flames he is able to grow like an actual like beard mine stops at pubic hair but you just got a little bit of a scrawny you're gonna make me fuck your wife like style like mm. facial hair you know what i mean like yeah. you're gonna force me at a as a bet or something to fuck your own wife and when she wants it more, they, she likes it more than it's normal. That it's gonna be like bad, and then you're gonna be in love with this fucking woman, right? And then this woman's in love with you, and then you got this like angry old like like mafia guy. He's been like, "You fuck my wife," and you were like, "You made me." I'm not gonna help you out of this. <laughs> <laughs> talking all day. We're talking all day. Oh man, I really got. Now that we're doing close ups, now I get my. I gotta get my teeth whitened. No, that yeah. would make you fucking not no. be yeah, real. Yeah, I got, I got shit You wouldn't there. be serving cunt. No. Serving cunt means having bad teeth. I guess so. <laughs> the not, British version, not, anyway. See, yours look nice. Mine are just, they're stained. It's your lineage. Yeah. Ugh, God, all of us have fucking horrible mouths. <laughs> I'm just like, on ugh, each one of us just got like a... A tool, but we look like the toy box killer smiling. <laughs> I'm getting a tooth pulled after Thanksgiving. Oh, oh where, where, which, which one? one? This guy right there. Yeah, it's good. No one will notice. Hey, I'm missing that one too. Let's check it out. Hey, yeah, yeah, that there one. There we go. Uh, so now, uh, oh, yeah, wow. I'm, yeah. I'm getting them put back in. 
in uh, February. That's wonderful. Yeah, I just uh, congrats. God, all yeah, after many bad. many years, we used to be handsome and young. Are you sure? Did you I wasn't. Shift? No, 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 because I, I got Marcus, the... Uh, I did Marcus the, was. The, I did the Invisalign. Eddie oh, was. Sure. Yeah, because remember we used to go to that same horrible dentist in Long Island City? Yes. Yeah, really the Russian guy. Yeah, 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 he yeah. fucked my teeth up. He that, really fucked my teeth up, that he, guy. He could have saved these two teeth, but he's like, no, no, it's going... We have going to have to break them and just pull them out because that's what's going to happen. And, yeah, virus and wife says, out, virus wife, we says we have faces for radio. Yeah, thank you. I believe we, I'm a reasonably... Now, so. I believe I'm a reasonably handsome man. Reasonably you're the so. handsome one. Yeah. Look at Eddie, my like, Eddie, like, you know, you're handsome, you're just different. Yeah, Eddie's a handsome man, of course. <laughs> and I have a character. <laughs> I just have character. Which what is fine. It? When yeah. when, uh, this, when Henry and I lived oh. together in Tallahassee, there was this, like, very lost woman who lived below us and kept trying to sleep with all of us. Mm. And then I remember my, uh, was it, my my friend, our friend Tim was the brain. That's what she called it. She's like, I want fuck. all three you make the perfect man. Yeah. Tim was the body. No, I was Eddie the was the sex. Oh, I was the sex. <laughs> Eddie right. was the sex. I'm the sex, yeah. And you're the voice. Yeah. She's like, I could listen to you talk all day. And then I also remember she said that. It's like, I've run from more places than you've ever been to. She oh. was right, though. Oh. She, was, <laughs> yeah. she was an abused woman. No, Dan, that's I, a hell of a line. I've run. That's such a Florida line. Yeah, like, that's yeah, in yeah. the Eileen Werno says. She was yeah. 22. Oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, maybe. We Come were on. 20, so it was a little. She seemed exotic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dane says, I feel like LA is fucking with y'all's image on your teeth, but I just think you, it's just once you look into it, yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Oh my Yummy. God. Now that's, now that's me at 23. Yeah. Is that Yummy. your actual hair? Yeah. That's, wait, no, that's, no, that's my actual hair. It my hair like a wig. My, no, he my, is for purchase. My hair used to be beautiful. No, it's mm -hmm. me wearing my uh, fucking, you know, James here in the room. Yeah, he Let's was split them open. He was there. He We're was there. Down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He remembers yeah, this James hair. is there. Yeah, yeah I want to push you down on a bed. I want to split you open. No, that's the hair that <laughs> Come we here, Harry Potter. <laughs> that's the hair Come that here. we used to get into a uh, fucking, you know, a party in which we weren't invited to. We just, uh, I bought this tiny piano from a homeless man on the way there. I remember this. They thought it was the part of like they thought that we were artists and we just set it up on a table and we got free drinks all night <laughs> everyone keep like everyone kept walking by us giving it like the art look like hmm, mm. what are they doing gentlemen mm. yeah <laughs> where are yeah. these gentlemen jungle sherry says you're all handsome you landed hot ass wives that was because of being funny mm. all right yeah. it's extremely different it all right? really and being vaguely palatable that's how you get in there. And Eli asks, is that, was that the woman you got all the dildos from? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's woman, yeah. How and many also, dildos did you get from her? I only got one dildo from her, but she had a bunch. I remember I thought... It was the most I had ever seen in one go. I had accused her of stealing our dildo. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's like, why would I need to steal your dildo? She's like, like, how gross do you think I am? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accuse you of stealing a dildo. And she's like, let me show you how gross I actually am. I was, I was like, do you have one we could borrow? <laughs> And she, and she pulled out a box and yeah. there was like a bunch of them and she gave us a pink one yeah it was great wow. then I remember Tim was like didn't know that he, we had not just purchased it and so right before the show he's like hey guys look yeah. And he started uh, sucking on it uh, and on something. Like, it came fr hot, hot from her fucking dungeon, her dildo yeah, dungeon was, and he's like uh, sucking on it and he's like <laughs> and we're all like <laughs> He's married with kids now. Yeah. Adam yeah. says Eddie most resembles sexiest man alive, Jason Kelsey. To Who's me. Jason Kelsey? That is the uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend's oh. fucking brother. Is that the brother, right? Yeah. He's that yeah. other guy. He's whatever. Hmm. Thank you guys. Let's watch another. I've gotten Gerard Butler video. before. <laughs> <laughs> From who? <laughs> he's, he's random. This guy with glasses on, and he came over here to cane a stick, and he was just—he uh, was uh, the nicest guy. He didn't know where the bathroom was. He didn't know where anything was. Um, people are debating our Hogwarts houses now. Don't do this. Let's do the next video. No, yeah, I'm mean. Hufflepuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the fucking weed. Holy shit. Do you know I'm both ways before grabbing a snack? No, this is literally a new drive. What? This guy's got to be this. Oh, yeah, this yeah. ain't good. No, 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 get away from that window. Definitely get away from the window. Yep, yeah, get away from the window. Yeah. 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 You're gonna want it. Oh, <laughs> Look at the 
She gets free snacks for life. Oh, I guarantee yeah. I know what happened there, what the problem was. The emergency brake was on. Mm -hmm. And so she couldn't get the car to go. And then she's like, oh, and then put the emergency brake off and just <laughs> where was she going? I don't know. Maybe go pick up mom. Foster care. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny as fuck. She was, was great. great. Honestly, I love little kids. You remember that story? There was a story that we covered not that long ago. Where it was a <clears throat> Kids steal cars like a lot more than you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is one of those. They steal cars. They joyride with them. It sounds hilarious. I think mm -hmm. it's fun. All right, but obviously, because unless anybody dies, most of the time no one dies. Most time, because they're the driving time. real slow. It's hard for them to reach the pedals. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. I started driving at like eleven. I was allowed. My dad used to. I sit in his lap and he used to like let me steer the car and stuff every once in a while. He was probably hammered. Yeah, <laughs> but it was fun. No, they just threw me in a car and said go. I mean, it's a country thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. You have plenty of room. Yeah. My dad let me drive in a parking lot once. So it was a disaster. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it didn't work out well. Did he yell at you? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> not in that moment, but... <laughs> not in that moment, okay. All right, all right. All right. Understandable. I'm still trying to get a sense. It was, you know, it was fine. Your was, dad was a fun guy. He was good. We had his, he had his horrible moments, but we had his great ones, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. all humans. Yeah, exactly. All humans. Harrison said that was a young Lauren Boebert, mm. which is very funny. Honestly, especially after that last video. I, I kind of like her. Young Casey Anthony. More I like kind of like her. Oh, her getting uh, finger banged at Beetlejuice? I think she's fun. I think that, honestly, somewhere inside of that fucking horrible dome of hers is a fun lady. If once she's <laughs> out of, yeah. once she's out, once she's in media... Right, mm -hmm. she's gonna. It's gonna be so much better out there for her, right? Because she's looking good, she's keeping it tight, she's fucking got. It. She's got a lot of crazy ideas, right? I think she'd be like on television. She's gonna be great, like Sarah Palin. Yeah, but she wasn't good enough. Yeah. In the end, she actually wasn't like g fun enough. She wasn't she's good not at anything. entertaining. No, yeah. no, you have to be like funner about it. Mm hmm. As a, Heather, as an accountant who does the accounting when bad things happen to businesses, fires, robberies, you would be shocked at how often cars drive into businesses. It's mind-blowing. I can see that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the footage. I love it. I hear about it all the time. One day. Fingers crossed. Let's fire one down the butt. Moose. This is dangerous. Yeah. Uh, this you is get the fuck. You go you away. You get the you living fuck out It's of always it. Taurus. You don't get anywhere near the goddamn, you know? He's gonna bone her. Oh wow! Oh, oh, no. oh no! No, no, he's gonna, no, 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 no! no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is the right that's move. The right that's move. the response. Yeah, that's definitely the right move. Say <laughs> that. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, that's man. scary as fuck. One of my favorite genres of animal attack videos are uh, Taurus trying to approach buffalo. Oh, because oh, sure. buffalo fuck them up. Buffalo so kill people hard. every year in Yellowstone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I love it. <laughs> People get well, burned believe, alive by the hot springs. I believe that bu buffalo deserve revenge on humanity. Oh, sure. Oh, we used, yeah. There used to be so many buffalo across North America. We wiped out so many of them. I think that buffalo should be allowed to kill six human beings a year. I agree. I think they do. I think that we should choose the six. I think we should line them up. Uh -huh. And I think we do should choose a couple. Choose a buffalo mm -hmm. that comes out of a, a lottery. Mm -hmm. And we have that buffalo do it. Mm. Yeah. I doing them all and then at we once. eat that buffalo. I feel like unfortunately, we should, yes, we'll have to immediately euthanize the buffalo because now it's used to killing. I feel like we should spread it out over the year. Oh, I'd love every two months. Yeah, every two months you get Groundhog Day. <laughs> uh, first day of spring. You got uh, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. July Fourth, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> I think yeah, it is a great Indigenous People's Day for sure. Absolutely, yeah, because yes. oh, yeah, that is the yeah. spirit of the Native American coming to take their true revenge. Man. Ah, but I can also say I learned from the new Ken Burns series, The American Buffalo. It's quite good. You love it. I will. Yeah, oh, yeah. Would. You're gonna absolutely love it. You should watch it. Um, Do they buffalo like talking and shit? Sure, I'll <laughs> see my, an uncle <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned that the Native Americans also overhunted buffalo once they got a hold of the horse. 
Oh. Yeah. They all they were before that they were, the whole idea of like revering the buffalo that was much more before they got a hold of the horse and then once they got a hold of the horse they started killing more than they needed. Not all wow. tribes of course, but some. Uh, but they definitely didn't kill buffalo on the scale that the white men did. Oh, yeah. We just are real good at killing in scale. Really yeah. good. Bradley says moose can dive. That's a scary thought. That is truly very, very, very scary. The idea of them also being able to get you in the water. Leah, offer up people to the buffalo for Thanksgiving instead of pardoning the fucking turkey. You see, hmm. Huh. I say then we can also have a turkey kill one woman. <laughs> <laughs> to equalize it. But I also don't think that the people who were killed by the buffalo, I don't think they should be criminals. No, no, no it's randomly not, it's not, selected. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> but amongst a certain group, right? Like we don't, they don't know uh -huh. that that's the, and maybe each year is a different group. One year it's plumbers. Yeah, yeah. They call it the Wyoming lottery. <laughs> Maybe one year. Oh, it's, it's one year. It's one year. It's like plumbers or like a different trade. Oh, but that okay. year, all plumbers get a tax credit. Ooh, we're making policies here. Let me be clear. I think <laughs> if we're going to come on, Jack. Buffalo is my backyard. I think busboy should go first. Oh, oh, but they work so they hard. They work so hard. So do plumbers. I think. Plumbers no, I know hard. who's going to be first. Senators. Yeah, let's round them up. Oh yeah, let's fucking round them That's up. A good idea. I've been saying this for a while though. I yeah. think they should be more afraid of us. Yeah. Now, from uh, fun fact, Orca will eat moose sometimes. That's fucking kind of crazy. Because then them, I imagine them fucking them the get caught. Orca will eat moose. Orca will eat anything. You they put won't in front eat of them. humans. Orca is fucking they not? fucked up. Not dude. in the wild. They only do it in captivity. Hmm. Not well, really? they have been, uh, They've been attacking, attacking yachts, yeah, yeah, which I fucking love, which by is the way. Like, they say that it started with one orca who figured it out, and they learn behavior, so now all the orcas are attacking boats because it's fun. It's a lady orca. She's the leader. It's great. I Whoa. love it. Yeah, yeah, like Elizabeth Warren. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the orca of the house. <laughs> well, let's see another video. Let's, let's see another video. Oh, Whoa. this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Get <laughs> this out. And he's in the race. Oh. <laughs> and he's in the race. Oh, he's nice. catching him on the outside. Man, I'd be scared as fuck if I was French. That like, horse that is so just... fucking strong and smart. He free. <laughs> I'm going to check his blood for drugs. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I said he probably would register as being... On a bunch of performance enhancing drugs for the, all the hormones he's on. And you know, you'd still call it HGH, horse growth hormone. That's Ooh, fun. Oh, yes, you would. Yeah, what? I mean, he's going, dude. Whoa. He's running past the motorcycle at yeah, this point. Yeah, go. Man, that horse should be free. That horse ran. Horse won. Whoa, it won. Majestic. I love horses. Yeah, they're great animals. They creep me out, but I like, I, I like them from the side. I can't believe all these bicyclists. They really want to win the race. Yeah, this is. I would have stopped by now. Yeah, I would have. They should have stopped the race. No, why? Is that the Tour de France? No, that was somewhere in America. That was like suburban hell. Tour de horse. <laughs> Tour de horse. Um, fight one buffalo or one hundred turkeys. This has come up quite often. I'd rather fight a hundred turkeys. I'd always rather fight a hundred turkeys because yeah. I still feel like once I'm killing them and I'm stomping and killing and breaking necks and swinging one around, they'll run. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you got a bat. That's what you do with the turkey. That's what you do with the hundred turkeys. You grab one by the neck and you just start Stop. swinging, 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 them around. swinging them. Yeah. 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 through. Where something like a buffalo, you're gonna have to hit it in the head with a crowbar a couple of times, and that even that might not do it. That won't even work. No, that won't work. That yeah, won't you have to work. shoot it. You have to shoot it in its guts. No, because that's the, the whole idea even is that that it's hand to hand work. fighting. It's, yeah. it's hand to hand fighting, and so hand to hand. Hand to hand, you don't have a chance against a buffalo. No, no one no. whatsoever. Um, again, well, I have seen. You ever see alone? No. There's this fucking guy. Yeah. Earlier right? today. This guy fucking. Um, I did. I'll tell you, Leo, the time I rode a horse through Brooklyn where the guys are like, hey, look at that fat guy. You know, it was horrible. <laughs> um, but I, uh, the, I, there was a guy alone that was just fucking. So alone is the real version of naked and afraid. But they take 12 people. They drop them to various different places. I've seen this they show. get 12 items. The person who lives out there the longest alone gets $500,000. But if you're going to die, they'll come rescue you. Yes. And most of them almost die. And so yeah. this guy was just like, I tell you what, I know how to do this. He was the best one out of all of them. He was a fucking killer. And when he had, he's a little knife. He had a little knife. And he was like, 
The Bortoners, you got to get him alone. And so he found a wildebeest, and he surprised it and just prison shanked it. Went like, get that, get 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 And he ran up and down, and he'd, go, he'd run, and then he'd go, and then he'd run away, he'd come back, and then go, wait, 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 wait. And then he stabbed it so many times with a little knife, it'll fucking bled out. Like, yeah. he found it and it bled out, and he finally stabbed its throat, basically decapitated it with a little tiny knife. But then he still almost starved to death because the animal was in mid-hibernation, and so the uh, you must have fat yeah. on your meat oh, to do I it. See. You must have. So it. he killed it when it was sleeping. No, it was standing there. He caught a, and then he 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 <laughs> surprised it. He stabbed it enough in its fucking intestines, so it was like, <laughs> and then he came around. And he started fucking coming on the other side. It was fucking cool. It was probably coming out of hibernation, which is why yeah. it was still sleepy. Yeah, it was all like confused and shit. It might have had dementia. Yeah, probably. Do animals get dementia? Probably. Tootsie doesn't know anything anymore. Tootsie doesn't yeah, know anything. Yeah, but Tootsie's just blind, man. right? No, she can see. But she's just confused. I would say she's confused. She's confused. She doesn't know what the fuck. <laughs> Today, going on. when I was carrying her down the stairs to go to the bathroom, I heard something fall and I thought it was like my keys or something. And it was just like she'd just been shitting while I was carrying her. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Animals can get dementia. So. Well, they can get dementia. Yeah. This is going to happen to us. Yeah. That's what Julie's going to be doing for you. Oh, mm -hmm. And she's God, got I you hiked so. up like this. She would. Kicking you from back and forth. She's going to have no choice. The most horrifying case of dementia I ever saw was my great aunt Bilo. We went and visited her in Oklahoma, and she was in a nursing home, and she had an empty look in her eyes. There was just nothing left, and she had these long, long fingernails, and my father had brought her this teddy bear, thinking that it would make her feel better, but she just sat and stared at it and ripped it apart with her long, long fingernails. Maybe that did make her feel better. <laughs> 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 Finally, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna tell me I can't do it no more. She Did you try bringing her Sudoku? <laughs> she looked like a baby bird that had fallen out of the nest and had no idea what was coming. No idea that the shoe was about to come on top of its head and crush its skull. I'm hungry. <laughs> Damn, I, was I was told there would be isopods, Mike. <laughs> Are there isopods? Do we, do we have any isopods? Oh. All right, now this is mm. what we were saying to Eddie. Yeah. Now no. he's cooking this isopod in oil. This is disgusting. That's awful. Got the banana leaf. I don't mind the banana leaf. I don't know what that is. That's just cooking it's on the coals. Flavor. But he's cooking that on the coals. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? I hate it. It still looks delicious. You are fucked. <laughs> this is the yeah, only that, time that looks delicious. That's this is all the meat. This is the only time I've ever truly agreed with you. I mean, that's all the, it's all the meat. Jesse, dementia seems bad, but all the bugs my grandma saw on the walls probably kept her company. Yeah, but it's like Woody Allen was there. <sighs> yeah, and they're putting the same fucking. Yeah, then you got the. That's fine. That's good. It's good to have vegetables. Marcus <laughs> hates cilantro, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. I can't here. believe that's all of the meat yeah, man, that it's comes fucking, out of the isopod. It's foul. Yeah, because it's mostly liquid. Ah. Oh. Mackenzie, I had a chihuahua with dementia, and one time I found him inside the toilet, just sitting in the water. Again, one day. Goals. <laughs> Marcus's life is like a Carmack McCarthy novel. No, it's not the same. He's no, you know, yeah, but he is, more but joy. Carmack McCarthy is my father's favorite author. Yeah, I bet. Ugh, God, this. Ugh, oh, God. yeah. Then you bake it back in. This is why is that? I don't understand why everyone's so grossed out by this. You're it's because it's, it's, it's so big. It's like a lobster. It's not like a lobster. It's not like a lobster at all. Because they all said it. When we watch several of these videos, every time they eat the meat, they're going. <clears throat> they're all gagging and shit. Yeah. Ugh, don't. I hate it. So few animals are their own bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad, he said, okay, yeah, that's like two cockroaches worth of meat. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, it's the sound. Oh, is that the rest of the meat? Yeah, it might be. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, God, I... I, I can't I, believe you're grossed out by this. I am utterly... I've eaten too many crabs in my life for this to bother me. It's just not, it's just not a crab. It's, it's not a crab. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not a crab. It's not crab, a crab. Because crabs are kind of fun. Like, you can see a crab. I mean, like, they're cool to hang with. I've also, they've yeah. been bred to be eaten. Yeah, and you right? can... They've been bred, so they got big, thicker meats in them. They've been they've been made... They're bred? They're in this ocean. No, we breed, but a lot of times we breed them. And yeah, then we but other times you go crab, and then you catch them in your fucking box. I think they're breeding themselves. 
You know what you could do with a crab is that you can put a crab in a Pixar movie. You can't yeah. put an isopod in a Pixar I movie. I mean, you could, yeah. but it's always the villain. It's not the villain. It's the sloppy blind man who you got to save, you know? And it's just like, oh, he's not that bad. Oh, he so he's, a, you, fire. he's a wacky side character on the uh, during the adventure. Yeah, a Bug's Life right. is a Pixar movie? Yes, A Bug's Life is a Pixar movie. Oh, it's Ants right. isn't. That's the difference. That's the off-brand one. Ants is the one with Woody Allen yeah. and Sylvester Stallone. Uh, it's a very bizarre movie. And then the B movie is the Jerry Seinfeld one. Yeah, yeah. that, yeah, it's, that, that it, whole thing. It took me like 10 years to realize that it was a pun. Yes. Yeah. B movie. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, of course. Jerry it's, Seinfeld. It's his only movie. Yeah. I wonder why. Now, this I is what they why say. said yes to it in the first place. Is anyone, Cause it, I, it's because animation, animated mil- films were kids is fucking big, 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 big money. Yeah. Very, very, very big time money. Yeah, this is the meal I imagine they had in the Indifferent Starves Above, Shelby. They wish they had isopods. Yeah, they really They were eating do. leather. And so, you're wrong! I am not. You're fucking wrong! I'm blown away by how grossed out everyone is about these isopods. I think, you know, you know I, what it's, I just can't, I can't handle it. It's mm-hmm. just too, it's too much, it's too many legs. It's the creepy eyes in the very front that do it it's, for me. And it's also the, just the bottom of it is just awful. And you the just top have never really seen terrible. isopods eat. We've also seen too many videos of isopods group eating giant animals. Yeah. Right. See, that's terrible. It's fucking awesome. I, I hate wow. it. I'm actually, Crabs group eat like. Giant animals. Yeah, and I don't Every time mind. Every a whale goes to the bottom of the ocean, what do you think? It's eating my crabs and lobsters and clams and oysters. And I'm saying, see, what the Hi. fuck? Man? Adorable. Hi. <laughs> yes. Come on, don't eat me. Yeah. Oh God, I need good put isopod chunk. Mm. Now, it, honestly, Jackie won't. Jackie won't let me. Wait till we do this week. So we're doing good put. At, uh, I believe 5 p.m. PST this week, and this one's gonna push. Jackie's limits, but the next one I want to do is really going to push her limits because this one I think is going to be good. But the next one is I want to do spicy tuna pudding. I think you should do jellyfish. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, can you eat jellyfish? Certain jellyfish, yeah. Yeah, but we're not. I we're not going to be sourcing. We'll go to Japan edible. town. That's like a half an hour away. I don't, <laughs> I don't have time for this. There's actually a really good Asian uh, seafood market uh, pretty close to here. Okay, well, no, yeah, we'll right. go there. I'll take it. I'll eat some jellyfish. There's I don't some care. weird animals in there. I didn't. I was like, oh, I didn't know you could eat that. It's really about pushing Jackie's boundaries because I'll eat way more than she'll eat. Eyeballs. But the chicken marsala pudding was almost too much for us to bear, so mm. I don't know what the rest of it. She's afraid of a seafood based pudding. But didn't afraid she do shrimp scampi? Not yet. Put that on the list. Okay, Henry, I know your views on this. Ed, <laughs> octopus, do you eat it? I actually just had some yesterday. And um, I I went, I was off it for a long time because I saw the movie. Yeah. And then uh, the Yeah, where he's trying teacher. to have sex with his like. But then I remembered how much I fucking hate school. <laughs> and, <laughs> so I just eat them all the time. Yeah, and, okay. uh, I, I had some octopus when I was in uh, <laughs> New York. And then I got some more recently. Oh, oh, my problem with octopus is how expensive it is. It's yeah, it's expensive. expensive. Yeah. You know, I like it. It's like, tasty. I'm not paying for its report card grade. Some fucking I no. don't want the meat. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to send this octopus's family to college. I uh, the pigs but, of the ocean. <laughs> I like it, but I also Natalie got me off of it. I don't eat it when I'm with her because she talks about how smart it is. So I stopped eating it. But really, basically, when I'm with her, not I got their brains. I'm just eating their legs. I got the same thing. Got Carolina also Honestly, they got has extra the, legs. very anti octopus eating, and so I, when I'm not with her. But when we had when we had sushi for lunch the other day, and we had those boxes. We both I ate that. The I like the su- I like octopus in the sushi box. Yeah, yeah. I like the octopus in the and that's the thing is that it's already there. I don't like the tiny ones where you eat. The I whole love octopus. the tiny ones. I, I like, don't like. That. I love the tiny ones. I like the bigger ones too. Yeah, Everyone just else like, give me the leg, chop up the leg, grill that shit up, throw some butter on it. Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna order it, but you know, it's in the box. I'm so hungry now. You guys did it. I'm st- do we have an end up? Do we have an ending episode? Do we have an ending? Little- eating an octopus. Fucking babies. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is where <laughs> I don't like the Republicans. Right? See, this is that's natural. That's natural. Yeah, they got to eat their own babies. What are you gonna do? I mean, stop making. It's her fault for making it so delicious. Honestly, and I think it's a mouse's jamming soy sauce down its mouth for so long. It's a fucking mouse's right to choose. (laughs) I think that that is, and I do think that honestly, you know, we should have late, 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 late term abortions. I think up to four or five years old. (laughs) I think it should be fully legal to wipe them out and try it again. You know what I mean? Because you don't know if it's a bad one. 
until like I don't three or four. I don't remember anything before four. Nothing. I don't remember. God, I'm Chad is very I upset things. with what? With nature? <laughs> Your Chad is upset with the fact that nature happens. Wake up, y'all. No cap. Mice eat their babies, and so do people. Get. Yeah, yeah, damn! Yeah, <laughs> look at that mice eating them babies. Remember when I was three, I got a fish hook caught in my ear and it almost pulled me into the water. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Another horrible story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for the earlier East Coast start time. Thank you, Caroline. I'm still taking four hours of vacation time to go in late tomorrow morning so I can be here. But this is fucking great. Nice. This is good. We're earlier here. We're vivacious. You're looking at three of us ready for we're here for the evening time. It gets dark to four o'clock. It's the worst time of the year. I hate mm -hmm. this. It makes me sad. It's aggravating. But it's yeah. nice to be here with you. It's nice. All right, so fuckers. This has been a wonderful mandate. Where are we? We do have a closer. Oh, we do? Fernando, Fernando did such a good job. Oh, hell yeah. On the bass, too. Nice chat. You know what it's like to be raised by Rita Wilson? Feelings, Woo! dog. Woo! We all and we all dismiss him, man. We dismiss him, but guess what, man? He has feelings. Forrest Gump didn't come from nowhere. That's right. Chet, thanks. Chet, yeah. thank you. Right? Thank you. And we've been trying to get him on the show. Have you? No. <laughs> but I just started that campaign. I just started that campaign. He's out there. The only I, white Jamaican I've seen in the last five years. I feel like he's not a friend that we're gonna be able to get rid of. I think that might be the issue. Yeah, I, I've the, had several people say that they're concerned about him knowing the address of the studio. There's a pool here. He'll never leave. Yeah. Oh, Killy, what's the new coffee? It's going to be, it's called Reptilian in the Morning. It's gonna be, we're gonna be rolling out this week. It's, it's wonderful. Extremely mm. tasty. It's, it's honestly, it's mm, really fucking good. I'm excited to try it. It's I really love my good. coffees. We're gonna put it out there. All right, guys. Oh, do we have a decaf? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that.